Log Day 134. Three boxes of books to ship. It's not bad. That was nice. Filled out one form. Dude, take care of the whole thing for me. So, thank you, Millennium Hotel. Your staff are amazing. Scott, especially. I love Scott. Bye, Mike. miles off the beaten path so maybe we should give up on clover well, I'm giving up I'm, I'm done. Done. <laughs> thank I'm you done. I was like I'm, I'm hungry please can we stop gas station subway mm -hmm. oh yeah so it's noon, which makes it about two hours into our trip. It's a five hour drive, and we just took like 20 minutes to eat, so we have a ways to go. And all of Minnesota to see in the meantime. I do not know what that road sign means, <laughs> but I have a feeling that if you take the left road, you can jump, oh, that. What the, did he just hit something? I don't know. We are in Milwaukee, five hours later. I think I haven't actually looked at the time, and we're gonna watch a Packers game. Five I've, hours, ten minutes. I've never, time. I've never watched a Packers game in Wisconsin before. It's gonna it's, get weird. I was gonna say this is like a foreign experience. We drove. There was a giant Green Bay Packers flag on the side of the road, and I was like, oh my gosh, we're actually like in Packer country. This is so cool. It's like finding a bushel of unicorns and getting to go <laughs> riding with them. <laughs> Tour of Milwaukee. Now it's time to get to the train station. It is 7.23. I haven't really talked to the camera much today because we spent the whole day in the car talking. My train leaves at 7.45. Alright, here we go. Let's roll. Final call to head to Chicago. I, I really actually don't know where I'm supposed to go right now, so uh, I need to put the camera down for a second so I can figure out where I'm going. into this train ride. I think we've hit three or four of the stops that we're gonna hit. I don't think we have too many more. On my way to Chicago, I'm gonna go see some good friends. Hopefully I'm gonna be applying for that visa, but I really don't know what's gonna happen. So anyways, I'm doing okay. I'm feeling pretty exhausted. Everybody who came to NerdCon, who came and visited our table, who got a photo who bought books especially, thank you so much for coming by. It was really, really nice to meet you. Some really cool experiences. All of you who like started reading one of my books or finished one of my books over the course of the weekend and then came back to tell me how you liked it, that was amazing. So thank you so much. That was really, really cool to see like your reactions in real time. I really appreciate the conversations with those of you who I met before. Please forgive me if I um, spaced on your name or didn't really recognize you right away. I met a lot of people in the last year and it's something that I feel particularly bad about if I don't remember people when I meet them again. Um, but thank you so much for those of you who are really gracious about that and I really look forward to seeing you again next year at the next NerdCon, which brings me to my final point. I really hope there is another NerdCon. I know this year was really slow. I had a few disappointments for me. 
along the way, but ultimately it was a great con. And Mike and I did awesome. Our sales were really good. Like they were solid, like in a really good ballpark for book sales. So we were really happy. All the other vendors we talked to were really happy. I know we'll be back next year if there's another nerd con. And we really hope that there is another nerd con. So please, please have another nerd con. Sometimes editing while on the train. I love travel by train, but uh, it definitely reduces the capacity to stay awake when you're already really sleepy and needing to edit while on a train trying to stay awake. A little bit rough. I just have to figure out how the heck to get out of here.